Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. Anthony Alfredo was in action at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in the Pennzoil 400 where again there was no qualifying resulting in Anthony taking the green flag from the 27th position in his number 38 Speedy Cash Ford. Let's get a post-race update straight from the driver. Solid day today at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'm about to walk through the tunnel on my way out, but really happy with our speed. Uh, everyone at Front Row Motorsports did a tremendous job bringing me a really fast speedycash.com Ford Mustang. We uh, ran inside the top 25 and even inside the top 20 the majority of the day. We actually stayed out to start a stage two um, on old tires, like five or six lap tires. Not that old, but I got eaten up. I was the last car to stay out on old tires. so. All the guy, guys on new tires split me four or five wide <laughs> and there's just nothing you could do. It just stalls your momentum so bad. And I did my best to get rolling again, but unfortunately uh, we couldn't get all that track position back that we gave up, but still came home in the top 25. Another 24th place finish. Can't be disappointed with that. I just a little frustrated because I know we had a lot better speed than that, but uh, still a solid day to finish the race, run a whole laps and learn a lot. And I'm excited for the next one. So thank you all for your support. Up next for Anthony, Phoenix Raceway on March 14th. Jesse Love was making his TC America Series debut at Sonoma Raceway Park for two days of racing in his number 22 Tech Sport Racing Mobile One Toyota. Jesse set fast time and brought home a win in race one with an exciting green-white checkered finish. In race two, Jesse got back-to-back -back wins. Let's take a quick look at that victory celebration. Once again, round of applause, Clay Williams, Mark Pombo, and Jesse Love, your TCA podium here for race two. Jesse went two for two, driving for Tech Sport in the Toyota 86 TRD machine. Up next for Jesse, this weekend at Phoenix Raceway for the Arkham Menard Series West Race with Bill McAnally Racing, where he will start his quest to defend his 2020 Arca Menard Series West Championship. We now move to the East Coast and the Solid Rock Cars Tour season opener, where both Joe Valento and Caden Honeycutt were making their Cars Tour debut. Joe Valento was making his first start with David Gilliland Racing, better known as DGR, in his number 17 Friends of Jacqueline Ford Performance Mustang. Joe had a great couple of days of practice, felt he had good long run speed, but was lacking just a little bit in the short run speed. Joe experienced single car qualifying for the very first time, resulting in a 20th place starting position. He had worked his way up to 16th before a freak right front wheel bearing failure on lap 61, ending his day. Up next for Joe, Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway on March 20th. Caden Honeycutt also made his debut in the Cars Tour as well. Caden topped the speed charts all weekend and was P1 in the last practice session, but was only able to post up a 16th place in qualifying in his number four, Justin Johnson Racing Ford. Caden said he fought an ill-handling car and later discovered to be related to a tire issue. Caden worked his way into the top 10 by lap 97 and eventually brought home a 12th place finish. Caden will head to Hickory Motor Speedway this weekend for a tune-up race before the Cars Tour returns there on March 20th. Other drivers seeing action this week include Joey East, in the Arkham Menard Series West with Nate Clower Motorsports, Jake Bowman will be at Stockton 99 Speedway for the SRL Pro Late Model Season Opener with JD Motorsports. And Brody Moore will be at Madera Speedway for Round 1 in the Junior Late Model Series. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, 
we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.